Good morning. For today, we'll have differed annuity. By the card, the June blows. Yeah, I wanna drown myself inside the June. And what do you mean by differed annuity? A differed annuity is a type of annuity where the payments are differed for several periods of time. Ibig sabihin, delayed ang bayad. So, I have here a diagram. So, this year zero represents the present value. This is year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, and so on. So, ibig sabihin, halimbawa, ikaw ay nagbayad ng annuity sa ikatlong taon. So, from year 3 until the end. So, we have here these two years, year 1 and year 2, ang tawag natin dito ay period of deferral. Ibig sabihin, sa ikatlong taon pa lang mag start ng payment. And what do you call the period of referral. Period of refer deferral is the time between the purchase of an annuity and the start of the payments for the deferred annuity. So, ibig sabihin, if this is the case, so, sa ikatlong taon mag start ng payment para sa annuity, meron tayong dalawang taon na period of deferral. Or, Sa dalawang taon na to, hindi mo na magbabayad. Sa ikatlong taon, mag start ng bayad ng 1,000. Now, let us find the period of deferral of the following. Number 1, annual payments of 100,000 for 10 years. That will start 3 years from now. Ibig sabihin, Ang ating pagbabayad ay magsisimula pa lang after ng dalawang periods or dalawang taon. Kasi sa iskatlong taon pa lang mag start ng payment. So may dalawang taon pa yung deferred uh, period or delayed period ng pagbabayad. Number 2. Monthly payments of 3,000 for 5 years that will start 5 months from now. So, since 5 months, mayroon tayong 4 periods or 4 months na period of deferral. Ibig sabihin, may apat na buwan tayo na hindi muna magbabayad. Kasi sa ikalimang buwan pa lang mag start yung inyong payment ng tatlong libo. Next, we have semi-annual payments of 1.5 for 12 years. That will start 3 years from now. So, I have here a diagram. So, remember class, when you say semi-annual, we will divide the 1 year into 2. So, meaning to say, if this is the starting period, and this is year 1, nag-divide tayo ng dalawa kasi semi-annual. And then, this is year 2 and year 3. So, remember, kapag may from 0, from the starting period going to 1 year, we have 2 periods because we are talking about semi-annual. Kapag 2 years na, meron tayong 4 periods. According to the given, nag-start ang payment niya ng 1.5 uh, 3 years from now. So, mula dito. So, ilang period ang kanyang deferral? So, ilang period siyang hindi mo na magbabayad? Semi-annual. So, bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Okay, so ibig sabihin, 5 periods or 5 semi-annual intervals ang kanyang period of deferral. 
Now let us have the fourth one. So here we have quarterly payments of 15,000 for 8 years that will start 4 years from now. So dapat nating i-take note na kapag sinabing quarterly ang isang taon ay hatiin natin sa apat. So here from the starting period until the end of year 1 ay hinati natin ito sa 4 parts or 4 quarters. Ganun din sa year 2. So, ibig sabihin, from the starting period up to year 2, we have already 8 quarters. And from the starting period until the year 3, we have 12 quarters. So, nagbayad siya 4 years from now. So, dito na siya nagbayad. So, ibig sabihin, ilang quarters or ilang period siyang hindi nagbayad or nag-delay. So, bilangin natin mula sa pinakang dulo. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, meaning to say, we have 15 periods or 15 quarters. Number 5. Payments of 4,000 every 2 years for 16 years starting at the end of 10 years. Ibig sabihin, nag-start ang payment niya sa end ng year 10. Okay? At nagbabayad siya ng 4,000 tuwing ikalawang taon. So, ibig sabihin, Year 2, nagbayad, hindi siya, nagbayad siya, yan, tuwing ikalawang taon. So, ibig sabihin, ilang period yung delayed niya, kasi dapat every 2 years. So, we have here, 4 periods, or 4 year interval, because we have 1, 2, 3, 4 periods here. Now, let us have the formula for finding the present value of deferred annuity. And that is equal to annuity multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus i raised to negative n all over i multiplied by 1 plus i raised to negative k. So, yung i natin ay makukuha kapag pinag-divide ang rate and then ang period. Samantalang, yung n dito ay makukuha kapag pinag-multiply ang period at term. Itong k dito, itong k natin dito, that is a period of deferral. Now, let us have an example. Mr. A wants to receive a consistently amount from a bank that offers 6% interest to be compounded annually if he will delay his withdrawal for the first 5 years. How much should he deposit now to receive 100,000 pesos every year for the next 10 years after the period of Deferral. So, let us find out the given. So, we have the rate is 0.06. Saan galing po? So, ito. Yan. This is the decimal form of 6%. 0.06. Next is your period. Okay? And that is 
uh, coming from here annually. That is equal to 1. And then, K or the period of deferral. So, mag-i-start or i-delay na yung kanyang withdrawal for 5 years. Next is the annuity that is equivalent to 100,000. Next is the term. So, 10 years after the period of deferral. And then we have the I. You have to divide R by M. So, 0 0.06 divided by 1 and you will get 0 0.06. And our N is equivalent to 10. How do we get this? We just multiply the period by the term. So, 1 times 10 and you'll get 10. Now, let us have the solution for the present value. So, present value of uh, deferral deferred annuity equals annuity multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus i raised to negative n all over i multiplied by 1 plus i raised to negative k. Then, let us substitute. Our annuity is equal to 100,000 and then our i is equal to 0 0.06 our n is equal to 10 and our K is equal to 5. So, again, class, uh, kapag mano-mano ang gagawin, uunahin muna ang mga numbers inside the parenthesis. At kung ang gamit ay scientific calculator, e-check lang kung uh, ayos ang pagkakatype ng mga symbols. So, simplifying this, our present value of this deferred annuity is equal to 549,988.52 centavos.